Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the decline of religion and the belief in God. So this is going to be a fun ride. I will post links in the description to the main article. Although I have a couple, you know, I highlighted and, you know, went through, but uh, I'll, I'll post a link in the description in case anybody wants to get to the article that I'm reading. I'll probably read it word for word, maybe interject, a, you know, my own two cents here and there. Give credit if I can find it. And we'll discuss how the U.S. belief in God hits a new low. This is from Newser by Rob Quinn. Well, first off, before I start reading, I should say... I am thrilled with this type of news. If anybody goes through my podcast, uh, well, especially the one about who I, who I am, you'll realize I'm an atheist and I believe religion is bad, meaning for the most part, the good it does is not outweighed by the bad. And religious people are okay, it's fine, but if they ask me my opinion or my advice, I'd say get out of a religion itself. Have your own belief system, but don't let it intertwine with the dogma. Because I don't mind people believing in some spiritual entity that started the universe or whatever, but an active God who sits on a sky in this heavenly place and judges people, that's all bullshit. But I live in a country, the United States of America, and it is deemed and tried to be uh, nailed as a you know Catholic type a Christian nation, whatever, which is fucking bullshit. So, those are my, like, general thoughts as why I like to read these type of things, because it gives me some hope. First off, religion is doomed in, in itself. The good it did for us back in the day, community, whatever, it just, it's not outweighed, it's just outweighed now by the bed, all the child rape and all the nonsense that goes on and, you know, ripping people off every day. It's just become you know, in my opinion, too much and do away with it in essence. But in, in the natural evolution of our society, I think in cultures, it'll go away on its own. And this one, the first one I'll read is about the belief in God, and I'll go through some other little things. So I'll start now. Like I said, this is by Rob Quinn. The last five years have apparently taken a big toll on American Americans' belief in God especially among the young, the liberal, and Democrats. Gallup says that in its latest poll, a new low of 81% of Americans said they believe in God, down from 87% in 2017, and from a solid 98% throughout the 50s and 60s. Belief fell among every category of people Gallup spoke to, by more than 10% among Democrats, liberals, and adults 18 to 29 but by only 1% among Republicans and married people. Belief in God among women fell from 90% to 83. According to Gallup, among men, it fell from 83 to 80%. Mm, those numbers sound good. I'll continue. Gallup says it has asked Americans about their belief in God in several ways over the years, sometimes phrasing it as a belief in God or universal spirit. The pollsters say the highest proportion of people express belief in God when it is phrased as a yes or no question. The proportion dipped significantly when respondents were given the option of saying they were unsure, and even more when they were asked if they were convinced that God exists. In the most recent poll, around half of those who said they believed in God said they believe God hears prayers and can intervene. <laughs> it's such bullshit, but this is a great part of the uh, article because you can tell what's going on here, and it's just like what you believe, what you know. You know, you justify your beliefs and all that stuff. You can get into that in some of my other podcasts I've done. Um, but this just comes down to like humans, and I understand why we do the things we do to a certain extent, and, you know, 
if we really believed in God, this this whole world would be pristine and fucking uh, uh, a fucking wonderland of beautiful niceness. If you believed there was a guy up there answering your prayers, and it was proof, and it was evidence, so bullshit. And, and the numbers going down is great, especially when they ask certain questions. Other polls have. I'll uh, continue. <laughs> Other polls have found that while belief in a higher being has been gradually falling over the years, traditional religion is declining a lot faster, the Hill reports. Last year, Gallup said church membership had fallen below 50% for the first time to a record low of 47%, with numbers dropping sharply even among those who describe themselves as religious. Gallup says confidence in organized religion has also dropped suggesting that the practice of religion, religious faith, may be changing more than the basic faith in God. By the way, there are, um, uh, you know, highlighted words, which will bring you to new articles, and, you know, you, you continue it, that sort of thing. So I find it really interesting. These are just polls, but remember, these are polls that have been going on for years now. The way they phrase things, it's... You know, it gets to the point more and more, and I think it's just natural. Like I said in some of my podcasts, I've always been surprised when I became an adult and looked around and people were believing in a God. I thought it was a kid thing, I thought it was a young thing, a Santa Claus thing, which it is, but it's so ingrained in us. And that whole belief system is a problem in itself for me, because what happens to a culture, the zeitgeist, the, the inward manifestations of all we do and call it whatever you want, psychology, memes, whatever the fuck you want to do. But we are a culture that's like, oh, you know what? This world is shit. We'll move on to the next one. You'll be forgiven for everything except for not believing in that fucking God because then you burn in hell. But, hey, if you murder 80 people, rape 60 children, just ask for forgiveness. So fuck off. In, in the concept itself, all the fundamentals... Yes, I understand the logic and some of the, you know, uh, understanding that people will believe in a God and a creator. Fine. I love some of those debates on the first cause and how far we go back. But I'm also interested in the God of the gaps and the nonsense because there's never been a, a debate that a religious person has won. Ever. Every debate has been won by an atheist or that side of the um, debate, just in general. It's never happened. Because you can't. It's all bullshit. But anyway, when you look at the growing number, it's more like, hey, you talk to your friend. They don't go to the church, but they believe in there's a God, right? And that's ingrained in us. And if you go deeper, you might say, okay, well, this guy's obviously not doing nothing. So maybe he died and, or gave his life to sacrifice for this Big Bang universe. Whatever. But you have to follow some of the logic and the science. I'm sorry. You can't say the Earth is 6,000 years old and fucking dinosaurs were fake. I swear, I had a fucking channel I followed. Because I was just into Walking Dead at the time. You know, the first six seasons, sort of, I struggled through. Although there's greatness in it, you know, just fucking... Anyway, there's a channel I used to like and watch, and I started touching base with it again interested in what was going on in The Walking Dead. It was, you know, you get the zombie fever. And long story short, in his fucking live podcast, not his designed ones for this show, starts going off about everything's bullshit, there's fucking no space, you can't get out of the atmosphere, all the fucking creationist shit. And I was like, you know what, I'm fucking done. And you're making fun of people who actually understand the stuff. So there's still a fucking base nonsense going on. But it's so declining. It's it's just for me. It's it's so much hope. So much hope is brought in this message. Now there's a Colorado article um, by Patrick Nelson, which I thought was funny. No, not funny, but it comes from the um, uh, faith leaders. You know, seeking solutions to nationwide decline in church membership. Colorado Springs. There are more than 400 churches and places of worship in the city of Colorado Springs, but polling data suggests a growing number of people across the country don't belong to a church or choose not to identify with a religion at all. During the pandemic, 
large gatherings were frowned upon and were even deemed unsafe, which made gathering in person for a church a challenge. Aw, aw, fuck out of here. In an attempt to pivot, church became something people just watched online, and while most worship services are now back in person, in many cases, faith leaders tell News 5 they're seeing two challenges at once. Declining membership and people who still haven't come back. Even before the pandemic, we knew the millennials and younger than that are kind of leaving the church and drifting away, said Bishop James Golka of the Diocese of Colorado Springs. We're coming out of the pandemic and a lot of guys still have a big question mark. The big question mark is who is coming back, said Trace Church lead Pastor Aaron Pennington. Recent Gallup research found church membership is at an all-time low in the U.S., with 47% of people saying they belong to a place of worship. It reflects a continuing decline in church membership across the country for more than two decades now. It's a trend happening across all age groups. Oh, and by the way, picture this. Around the world, it's even faster. You have nations that are like, you know, Done with religion and all the nonsense. Because guess what? There's nothing you can't do in any private organization, any any part of your life that you need religion, that religion can only do. So, bullshit. I'll continue. We find our Catholic churches are, some are shrinking in number. But other ones are growing in number. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, what the fuck do you can keep building them and growing them, go from two people to five and keep that number going. Right. But we all know the big picture. So to picture 20, 40 years down the road, yeah, if a good number of people have left the church, then what do we look like then? I need the Lord to help us show the way to help figure that out, said Bishop Golka. <laughs> keep praying, keep asking for divine help. Because it's never fucking happened. Ever. I'll continue. Researchers say they believe these changes are due to a rise in Americans with no religious preference. Over the past two decades, the percentage of Americans who do not identify with any religion has grown from 8% from 1998 to 2000. And then 13% from 2008 to 2010. And most certain, and most recently... To 21% during the last three years. All right, Americans. All right. You know, this is some evolution and growth of parents who believe in a God and understand that it's good for them. It is how they were raised. But don't push it on their children. This is ridiculous, especially in some of the fucking higher popular religions. Yo, fuck off with bringing your kid up believing in some God is watching him and judging him. You all should be fucking put in jail, most of you. All right, let's continue. During the pandemic, we found students did better in school than at home. Being together in community helps us, and that is the basis of faith also. But guess what, Bishop Golka? In school, where you keep church out of it, you fucking fucktard. Yeah, guess what? I can do that too. I can call my friends over, play Dungeons and Dragons, have a good time, watch some movies, talk about our problems, talk about how we can help each other as a community. And there's no need for a god. And nothing. Show me the data. It's bullshit. Let's continue. You have a healthy place where people can experience community. One of the things we say here is you can belong here before you believe. And so if you just need to come here and wrestle with doubts, the church should be a healthy and safe place to do that, instead of feeling like you have to pretend, said Pastor Pennington. Well, guess what? How many of your priests have raped children, and that you know about it, and that you're moving them around like a shell game? Because you're pieces of shit, right? All these good-natured, loving people, even good-natured, loving priests and clergy, whatever the fuck, are all fucking shields. That's the sad thing. You're all shields for this nonsense to continue. The future of many churches will hinge on their ability to adapt and convey the significance of what they offer to millennials and their families specifically. Well, guess what? You offered nothing. 
except the bullshit shield cover bullshit nonsense of a fucking food thing and a church gathering while you're raking in billions raping children in the place of holy fucking gods with your robes on and a fucking authoritative bullshit and little children are in your fucking places and you give no fucks about them fuck off wither and die in my opinion Let's continue. While there has been a decline in church membership for all ages, in the last decade, millennials have had the most rapid decline. Gallup research shows just a third of millennials belong to a church. That's down from more than 50% a decade before. Yay! Trace Church in Colorado Springs has reversed the trend with this age group and is actually seeing significant growth right now. Pastor Pennington credits transparency and the significance of a small group ministry. Guess what? It'll always grow and go down, and you'll play with the numbers like all people do in this world, religious or not. It favors you, it doesn't, but we know the overall data. See ya! Quote, When life happens and it kind of catches you off guard, having a group of people who know you more intimately in that moment is probably one of the best things you can have. To pray with you. To walk with you, said Pastor Pennington. Guess what? You don't need religion. I can go walk with my friend. He can pray. We can talk about what he thinks the prayer is going to carry and where it will go. I, we could talk about this. I can help him with maybe some neuroscience and psychology. And just as a friend, be there. You don't need you. Bishop Golka says, the sense of community remains a cornerstone for the Catholic Church, too. Right, but bullshit, because you're all going away. It's nonsense. Especially what you did during the pandemic with your bullshit. Your faith leaders dying fucking every day. You don't want to adhere to the safety protocols? Then go fuck yourself. Close down. Now let's take them out in that sense. Fuck off. It's such bullshit. I'll continue. Being connected to a community of faith, we have a much better chance of finding our way through difficulty. We say as a Christian, we can't do it on our own. We need other people. I think the best healer of mental issues is being in a community of faith and worshiping together. Well, I don't care what you believe, because you're a fucking idiot. Yes, we know people with mental issues, if they talk to friends, and yeah, it helps a little bit. But we're talking increments of what? And for what is done with chemical imbalances and brain disorders, cognitive distortions, and everything that comes with brains being on 24 hours a day. What do you do? Do you pray? Do you hold his hands? Do you hold his head in your hands and your hands glow and a fucking power of your God comes in and heals him, makes good connections and synapses in his brain? No. It's just fucking manipulation and bullshit. Oh, by the way, let's end the article with, if you would like to check out these trends and the polling data for yourself, you can find it here. And you can find the link, and you'll see all the data. So I thought it was fun. I did an article on the Gallup poll, and then showed from the perspective of the church, they're all shitting in their pants, and they should be. You should all be shitting in your pants. Now, if I had my way, I'd probably come down strict with a hard, uh, you know, hard line with religion in the way it is now. With fucking taxes and separating a church and state, for real, out of politics, a whole smeal. You know, it wouldn't be up to me to sign a law to, you know, change things, because I don't believe that. I'd rather it happen on its own. However, when you have any Entity, organization, conglomerate, whatever you want to call it. Do what the church is doing. It should be shut down. I don't care how it looks on the books and whatever. No. McDonald's, uh, Wendy's, Arby's, fucking bed and breakfast places around the world. Uh, organizations of charity. You find the systematic criminal activity that you find in all these churches, they would be closed down. In days. You wouldn't need 200 people to come out on stage and make me cry in the stories they told. 
about how they fucking were in the religion, believing in a God, and this man of worship fucking raped them, tortured them, mutilated them. Do we go, do we go for murder? But it doesn't matter, right? Because it's a belief in its church and it's, oh, it does so good. No, it doesn't. It's all a big manipulation. It's all fucking bullshit. You keep this way of thinking and this is why we are where we are. Why the fucking politics in America are the way they are. We still are humans. We still all are growing. And I'm not mad at everybody who doesn't believe the same things I believe. Right? But we have other things involved. You have a community that religion makes money, rakes in money off of because of fear that they incite for no reason. And look at the LGBT community, right? Faith. There's an article I was re- reading that says uh, faith brings comfort and pain. I must think it's similar to African Americans in America, right? You're reading these books or whatever, and you don't realize that Jesus is telling them to obey their masters, the slaves, and that these people held up these books and kept them in slavery and used it as a means to keep them for 400 years, whatever the fuck it is. They should be the first ones. In my opinion, African Americans should be the biggest group of atheists in this world, but that's not how we how we are as humans. So you got these places, uh, you know, communities of comfort and hope, which is what religious communities say they are. But they're openly hostile to lesbian, gays, bisexuals, transgender, whatever, whatever it says for queer people, right? The acronym, whatever. They're sinners, right? Oh, no. Same-sex marriage. Oh, no. I had a discussion with years ago about something like this, and... My instinct is just to go wacky, crazy, off the wall, uh, intuition to the extremes, right? So, okay, what's the biggest fear? Okay, everybody becomes gay and the, and the human race doesn't populate and we fail to grow, we die. We die off, right? Okay, well, we can, like, it's just so silly. You know how small the percentage of these people are? And we have animal species all over the planet displaying genomes and whatever the fuck you call these things and... Sex, the difference between sex and gender, it's all varied. So, of course, in the human population, we're going to have people, you know, feel they're born from wrong bodies, even have legitimate issues with their brain. There's some who just downright feel and know and believe that they are what they want to represent and they'll do it. But no, religion will ostracize you, pick you out, convert you. This is fucking ridiculous. Another reason why I'm so happy. That is a major decline. You can't be unfriendly towards people who are LGBTQ. I mean, let's get over it already. How about a religion that just fucking bursts out and just is done with everything? No, we don't believe in the Jesus guy. The Bible nonsense that was written by fucking illiterate morons in the dark ages. That has been apologized and reinterpreted in thousands and upon thousands and thousands of fucking branches of its religion is a great thing uh, I like to say sometimes or or I've heard you know and when you talk with people it's like oh hold on we're really similar there's 3,000 gods out there you believe in one but you're an atheist to all the other one of the things I like to say oh there's a mistake it's all really one god okay right but you believe in this one and you're an atheist to all 2,199 you're just one more than me. Right? You believe me. I don't believe in any. That's how close we are. But you got it right. Everybody walking around right now. In your heads, your God agrees with you. You are right. But not the person in Saudi Arabia. Not the person in China or Japan and Scotland and you know Argentina. Like, really? And we know the data. I don't have to come here and say all the where we can show all the bullshit happening, where you're born and how you're raised. Right, but now it's just, oh, it's a, you know, it's all really the same God, you're sure, right? But this guy will cut your head off and this guy will burn you in hell. Go away, religion. Religious belief and religious, you know, attendance. 
This is on bolt runs. We're not just talking about religious places going down because of the pandemic. Yeah, and it's good, and it's growing. It's even getting better. We still have those assholes on TV, right? The old students and the morons ripping people off, all the grandmas and old people fearing death in the end. They need a jet. They need another $4 billion. And when a flood happens, you can all go fuck yourself. Right? Because my palace of gold, I'm worshipping from God. Not even your fucking own books and stuff. All the doctrine, it's just nonsense. Just grow up. Once you face this fear and get over the bullshit, you're free. Your burdens are gone. And no, we don't need religion to be good people. Fucking asshats. Right? I mean, I don't believe you should go out and abuse people and physically hurt them. Not because of God. Because I just don't want to. It's just not in me. I'm not, you know, so this is a great sign. I'm so happy we get to see this moment. And this should be like, I don't know if I'm putting this out on Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. The decline. Holy shit. Good times in that sense. I wish as a world we were doing a little better. And you know, focusing on America, you know. We have problems here. We have such nonsense going on in the political arena. We have the gun violence and oh shit, that's a mental health issue. Fuck up. This is we know how it works all around the world now. And we're not that special. So we can debate that too. I mean, just bullshit, abortion rights, and just stop it. You're grasping and you're holding on. You're so desperate, you grasp on to fucking douchebags like Trump. Like, this is your guy. Hey, you fucking, you clowns. It's like all clowns. I hear the clown music for several reasons, but. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I mean, this is what it is. And there are critical thinkers, rational people who are sitting around, and they're on the edge here and there, and they're like, hey, you know what, I'm not going to fucking church, because that's obviously bullshit. But I have my own beliefs, you know, I don't impart them to anybody, and you know, force it into the fucking national anthem, and on our money, because, you know, we they gotta have a hold on everything. So, the hold... Is loosening, you're all fucking going away, and all of it just is such bullshit that it is ultimately gonna fail. You will fall, and you'll probably take down a good portion of a lot of good people who are just not, and not bad, they're not there to manipulate people, and they just believe in a higher power, and it's what is ingrained in them, and it really means a lot to them. And they look to you and you just rape their children and you rob them and you fucking, you know, just manipulate scores of people so you can keep your fucking gold-plated chalices in your windows. And, and it must suck because you have really good people. I'm sure Father So-and-so, who's with his two pastors and priests that are rapists, who doesn't know anything and really is really helpful and he's trying to do the right thing. But we know that's just a shield. It's just bullshit. So, welcome to the decline. May it rapidly increase. May it shock the countryside. Go away, religion. You'll re be replaced by anything that we want and value. You want it bad enough, start a community effort. You know, do crystals, worship crystals, and fucking tarot cards and whatever. Don't tie it into dogma. Just stop it. Stop with the bullshit. You can do fucking prayers work, spells work. It's just bullshit. And then don't play the fucking game where, oh, I meant magic. I meant, you know, thoughts and how they can empower you. No, no, it's not what you fucking meant. When you're charging people to give them fucking lessons for spell casting and bullshit. So, the whole spectrum just decline. We don't need it anymore. Search for the truth. Sometimes we're on the path that's wrong and we need to see it. 
but we can't get wrapped up in it. You know, you can't see the forest from the trees type thing. Your beliefs, I've said this before, some of my more critical thinking podcasts is, you know, you have to be honest and seek the truth and you have to question your strongest beliefs all the time. Right? Because these are the most dangerous ones. This, to you mentally, your mental health, to the world, it's okay. Nothing we can't do. That religion can is nothing. We can do everything. We could open up soup houses and feed people, open up community, hug them and talk to them. It doesn't have to be under the fucking guise of some god or of a Bible that is obviously a genocidal monster who you overlook and you change the verses and no, this is a metaphor. This is real. Oh, look at the lesson I learned here. You fucking psycho. Satan kills maybe two people in the book. Lucifer and God kills humanity and leaves. It's just, you people are fucking crazy. In a good way, because I love you all. In that, I think I'll end this. Oh, this is, this gives me, you know, raises my spirits a little bit. (laughs) Ah, the decline. The decline happening and it's getting faster in decades this is good news people even if it's a little bit of bad medicine bad tasting medicine all right i'll put the articles in the description or a couple of them i hope everybody's doing well happy father's day my best to you and yours take care